Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys 6 advanced editing tips that you'll definitely want to incorporate into your game. Some of these will be tips that you haven't seen before, while others may not be new, but were so useful that I wanted everyone to know them. So let's get started. You may have seen this first trick from Liquid72 Hours, who showcases the exploit best in this clip. Like, do you even care, dude? Wow. That's if you haven't seen this before, you can shoot through a door at it while opening it. In order to do it, you need to open the door, aim down sight, and then shoot. Usually when you open a door without this trick, you are unable to shoot until the door is fully open. But with this trick, you can catch your opponents by surprise if they're turtling in front of you or trying to get into your box. Just make sure you do it at the right angle. You want the door to open on them, so from their angle, they can't shoot back as they'll hit the door, but you're still able to hit them. So pay careful attention to which side of the door you're on and which way it will open. Also realize it's still a door so your opponent can just walk through and kill you if you're not careful. But overall this is a pretty unknown trick that can be extremely useful if you master it. The second tip I have is a technique you can always use to escape your 1x1 without fail. Usually, if you try too fast to edit while getting out of your 1x1, you'll get stuck on the cone because of the way the cone is shaped. Luckily, if you position yourself in the corner while rubbing up against the wall, you can edit the cone and floor without getting stuck. It works because the corner of the cone makes it so the highest point you can reach on the side is perfectly in line with the edit block, so you'll never get stuck. Next up is my favorite edit in the game that I don't see many players using. So what I normally see players use and do when they ramp over someone is that they edit one side of their ramp in half. While this isn't a terrible edit, if your opponent is positioned under the opposite side you edit, then he has an opportunity to shoot you while your angle is blocked by half the ramp edit you made. My solution and the edit I've been using a ton is that you want to grab the opposite side of your ramp and edit it straight back to you, so the ramp turns 180 and breaks. This way you always get a clear shot of your opponent. You can also edit the ramp from one side to the right or left peg instead of all the way across to you, and the same edit will go through, and this should help console players and lower sensitivities. This edit also makes for a great way to push opponents and it's pretty fun to practice. All in all, I use this edit nearly every game and I catch people off guard every time, so I definitely think it's worth mastering. The fourth trick on our list is a way to outsmart your opponent when you have them inside your box. A lot of the time, if you're up against a decent player, they'll wait for you to edit a wall or floor to get a shot off before you can due to shotgun delay after editing. If you didn't know, you can edit and re-edit while moving and confirm the edit while you're not facing the wall you're editing. So you can outsmart your opponent by editing the wall they expect and then editing down from a different angle or different direction. Mr. Savage M was the first person that I learned this from and shows off an amazing use of it here. Something similar to this trick is if you edit the top layer of the wall you've built. So this is useful in the same situations, you ever place the wall on a good player and you see them waiting for you to make an edit. This time however, if you don't have the top or ramp and side replaced, you need to be more clever. What you can do to catch them off guard is edit the top layer of the wall and then crouch down. This leaves the other player exposed and you're hidden, and then you can jump up and shoot them because they had expected a window edit. Finally, our last trick is a useful way to edit your walls when they're edited behind a ramp. So if you Dorito edit your wall while on a ramp, the wall will get edited behind the ramp and it's pretty much impossible to re-edit the wall closed. But what you can do is if you pull out your wall bind and then you look at where the wall would be and if you press edit, you can actually re-edit your wall again. So this will save you from dying after you make the edit and want to re-edit the wall closed after you get shot at. So those are my favorite edit tips and tricks that I think you all need to learn to master. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, turn on post notifications, and subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know in the comments which tip and trick was your favorite. This video shoutout goes to Raid, who used my code JerryGrand in the Fortnite item shop. And lastly, make sure to go check out my Twitter to enter my big Kovacs giveaway, which ends in a few days.
So that's it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.